Good afternoon, everyone. Please be seated. Welcome to the spring 2024 commencement ceremony of Allegheny College of Maryland. I'm Cynthia Bambera, president of the college. It is a privilege and honor to extend my sincere congratulations to you, the graduates of the class of 2024. It's a pleasure to see so many of you here today to celebrate the success of our students. Please join me in recognizing all of their educational accomplishments with a warm round of applause. <laughs> the graduates before you are among 305 individuals who have completed the requirements for 368 associate's degrees and certificates awarded this spring. At Allegheny College of Maryland, our primary mission is to assist our students in achieving their academic goals. Your academic success is our success, and today, as we celebrate your graduation, we are incredibly proud of all that you have accomplished. Graduates, you are the shining stars of ACM, 
our community, our nation, and our world. You are the future. As you begin this new chapter as graduates of ACM, I want to share with you some timeless advice from former Apple CEO Steve Jobs. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. He also said, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Graduates, I encourage you to follow your heart and your intuition. Seek out what you believe is great work and pursue it with passion and dedication. When you love what you do, your work will not only be fulfilling, but impactful. As you move forward, remember that the skills, knowledge, and values you have gained here at ACM will serve as a strong foundation for whatever path you choose. Embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead with confidence and determination. So again, congratulations, graduates. At this time, I would like to introduce the platform guests who will stand as they are identified, and please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Board of Trustees with us today are Mr. Kim Leonard, the Chair, Ms. Jane Belt, the Vice Chair, and Board Members, Ms. Michelle Martz and Mr. Jim, Jim Piles. Members of the administration include Senior Vice President of Instructional and Student Affairs, Dr. Kurt Hoffman, Vice President of Advancement and Community Relations, Executive Director of the ACM Foundation, Mr. David Jones, Vice President of Finance and Administration, Ms. Christina Kildoff. You will also hear from our student speakers this afternoon. Ja Luke Tay will be introduced by Professor Paula Fuller. Jordan Landis will be introduced by Assistant Professor Scott Deal. Our music for today's celebration is provided by the Western Virginia Brass Quintet directed by Brian Plitnick. Thank you for sharing your gifts and talents with us. At this time, ACM faculty and staff, please stand and be recognized. Graduates, I know that you will agree without the dedication and commitment of these individuals who have aided you on your educational journey, you would not be here today. Join me in acknowledging and thanking our outstanding faculty and staff. <laughs> to the parents, grandparents, spouses, children, and friends joining us today, your love and encouragement has been the cornerstone of our students' success. Your belief in their abilities has been a constant source of strength, and today we celebrate your role in shaping these remarkable individuals. So today, as we honor the graduates, we also honor you and thank you for your support. So graduates, join me in thanking all of your loved ones who have made it possible for you to walk across the stage today. As you can imagine, there's much work that goes into this ceremony, and I would like to thank those who helped make the ceremony possible. First, the commencement committee, who plans the graduation ceremony and ensures that it is a celebration for all of you to remember. To this committee, I offer all of you my sincere gratitude. Thank you to our faculty, staff, and student volunteers for helping today. I would also like to recognize our Grand Marshal Assistant Professor Ray Hunt, and Assist Assistant Grand Marshal Professor Robin Ingram, as well as Assistant Professor Scott Deal and Professor Paula Fuller, who will serve as the readers for this afternoon's ceremony. At ACM, commencement is an exciting time when everyone in the college community works together to support this very special celebration. So special thanks to the staff in admissions and registration, financial aid, advancement, instructional and student affairs, physical plant, media services, and computer services. Thank you all. It is now my privilege to introduce Mr. Kim Len Leonard, Chair of the Board of Allegheny College of Maryland Board of Trustees. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just, just like students, huh? Um, actually, I have a, a, a little anecdote. Uh, this morning, I, I got up here to speak, and uh, it was our first, uh, first uh, course of uh, graduation. I said, my notes and, and conversation is going to be really short, and somebody in the audience said, thank God. <laughs> so therefore, go ahead and say it, folks. <laughs> Certainly on behalf of, of the Allegheny County, Allegheny College of Maryland uh, Board of Trustees, congratulations on your graduation. You can be very, very proud of your accomplishments. In many cases, you and your families have sacrificed much in order to be in this new, new journey. And I know this sacrifice will be rewarded. In our short lifetime, we seldom encounter major crossroads. I think this is one of them for you. And I am sure that you are very, very prepared for this tremendous opportunity. And I think we should thank the people that have gotten you folks all to this position. Our friends, your family, the faculty and staff of Allegheny College. So thank you so very, very much. <laughs> Preparation for this day is now past. It's time for you to put into, into practice what you've learned here at Allegheny College of Maryland. Enjoy every day as you're enjoying today. And remember, your, success, your successes are limited only by the extent of your dreams. And I'd just like to recount a, a real short story for you that I heard the other day and it stuck with me. In fact, I heard it probably a couple years ago and it stuck with me this long. A real small child was talking to a very, very famous man one day. And he was a wise guy, and, uh, and the little boy asked him what was his uh, secret of life. The man looked down at the, this young boy and, and, and thought, he said, well, you know, I've thought about that my, during my entire lifetime, and the secret can be summed up by four words. First is to think. Think about the values you wish to live your life by. The second is believe. Believe in yourself based on thinking what you're about and your vows, values you're going to live by. The third is to dream. Dream about the things that you can be based on the belief in yourself and the values you're going to live by. The last is dare. Dare to make your dreams become reality based on your belief in yourself and your values. And without, and then this was the guy. And with that, Walt Disney who was this wise old man, said, think, believe, and dream, and dare. That's my secret to life. That's his secret to life. Again, congratulations. And I would suggest that you all, when you leave this door and leave this hall for the very last time, probably for a, for a while until you come back, then as, then as adults, not students, uh, go out and make a difference. Congratulations. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Welcome everyone and hello graduates of 2024. You made it and a big shout out to my RT students. <laughs> my name is Paula Fuller. I am the director of the respiratory therapy program and I have the distinguished honor of introducing your first commencement speaker, Mr. Jaw Tay, also known of course as Luke. Luke is from Burma, a country in Southeast Asia. Presently, he resides in Boonesboro, Maryland with his lovely fiance, Miss Lauren Moore. Lauren, are you here? Please, there she is. I would tell you it has been a pleasure to have Luke in our classroom and clinics. He is humble, he is hardworking, and he is a dedicated student. While attending ACM, he worked at Berkeley Medical Center as a cardiac care technician. And the other evening, he earned at the All College Awards Banquet the Excellence in Respiratory Care Award. Upon graduation, he has accepted a full-time position at Winchester Medical Center and a PRN position at Berkeley Medical Center. 
However, his learning doesn't stop today. He plans to pursue a bachelor's in health science, and then he wants to get his physician's assistant. It has been such an honor to be with him. We are so proud of him. So now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Mr. Luke 4.0 Tay. Thank you for the kind introduction. Good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, President Dr. Bamberers, members of administration, faculty members, proud parents, most importantly, the graduate of Allegheny College of Maryland. We made it. Today, we celebrate our achievement and the incredible journey we have shared. I just want to say congratulations to all of you. I congratulate you all for what you have done to achieve this goal. Everyone in this room has gone through a lot to achieve this degree. I guarantee someone in this gym has a stressful night before an exam. Worry about making a good grade. Someone might have even failed. However, no one quit. This is called ambitious attitude. Everyone here is successful and accomplished. I would like to say a little bit about me. I was born in Asia, a small country called Myanmar, also called Burma. I remember when I was 22, I decided to move to the United States. Before I moved, my dad asked me one question. Are you willing to take risks? I told my dad, I am ready to take risks, meet challenges, to venture into the world. I moved to the United States in 2019. I stayed in California for about two years. At that time, I was majoring in computer science. The first semester, I failed my math class because I could not keep up with my full-time school schedule and working for 36 hours a week. It was a struggle. I lived all by myself. Being away from the family for the first time in my life was tough. But I always think positively and focus on what I can do to improve myself and make my family proud. I never give up. I study and work hard. I want to study sessions. I got help from college tutors. And I'm standing here and proud to say I passed my math class the next semester. At that time, I realized everything is possible if you put time and effort. I carry over all the things that I learned from that class, and now I was able to use it, a lot of my math problem in my respiratory program. When I look back, I came a long way from Myanmar to California to being here at Allegheny College of Maryland. I'm so proud of myself for what I have done to achieve my dream. I am also thankful for the opportunity that I've gotten to pursue my passion in respiratory because if I were back in my home country, I would not be able to achieve my goal because respiratory therapy does not exist. I want you all to be proud of yourself too. Nothing is easy, but everything is possible in life. We can answer my dad's question, yes, we are willing to take risks and meet challenges. Everyone dreams of this day to celebrate, but dreaming without a goal, there's no destination. To be able to dream something, you must commit, be consistent, and be willing to sacrifice to get what you want. All of you have done it to be here. You have worked hard, and dedicated yourself to your education. And now you're ready to take the next step. As you move forward, remember, the world needs people like you, people who are curious, creative, and passionate. Remember, this is just the beginning. Embrace the unknown, take risks, and chase your dream, and always lift each other up. Because together, we can achieve anything. Congratulations on our graduation day. Thank you, everyone.
Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations, Class of 2024. Um, as we gather here today to celebrate the culmination of years of hard work and dedication, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce our next student commencement speaker, Jordan Landis. Uh, Jordan's academic journey began in high school where she had taken advanced classes at Garrett College, and then went on to uh, University of North Carolina, Charlotte, where she pursued a degree in mechanical engineering. During the pandemic, Jordan saw the ever-increasing need for respiratory therapists and the critical role that they played in the frontline battle against the virus. So her passion had switched to respiratory therapy. But Jordan's journey does not stop there. Uh, in addition to her academic pursuits, Jordan made the brave decision to serve her country by enrolling in the U.S. Army National Guard, demonstrating her unwavering commitment to duty and service. Today, as Jordan prepares to embark on her next chapter as a respiratory therapist at WVU Medicine, Ruby Memorial, we couldn't be prouder of her and her accomplishments. Her exceptional academic achievements and clinical proficiency are a testament to her hard work and determination. So without further ado, let us welcome our esteemed student commencement speaker, Jordan Landis. And may your words inspire us all as we celebrate the remarkable achievements of the graduating class of 2024. Thank you. Thank you, Scott, for that. Good afternoon, Dr. Bimbera, Board of Trustees, esteemed faculty, proud parents and family, and my fellow graduates. Allow me to be among the first to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Today we gather to celebrate a remarkable achievement, a combination of years of hard work, dedication, and unwavering determination. As we look around this room, we see more than just fellow graduates. We see friends who have become family, classmates who have become confidants, and colleagues who have become companions on this journey of growth and discovery. The late night study sessions, frantic messaging about assignments, and long work hours, all of it has led us to this moment. And while the road may have been tough at times, it is precisely the challenges we've overcome that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. But let's not forget the main reason we are all sitting here today, our professors, with their passion for knowledge and unwavering dedication to our success, have been instrumental in our academic journey. They have challenged us to push beyond our limit, to think critically, and to strive for excellence in everything we do. Though their time with us may have been fleeting, the impact they have made on our lives will remain for years to come. Every person has their own story of how they go have got to where they are today, and I am honored to be able to share a little of my story. I began my collegiate journey in 2018, and I thought I knew exactly where life was going to take me. Shortly after I began, my mother's health started to decline. I was trying to figure out whether to take a semester off or take a break to, from college to help where I was needed. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic made that decision for me. I was taking classes at a school in North Carolina from my bedroom in Maryland. This is when I decided to take a break from college, and it could not have come at a better time. In 2020, it was time for my mother to have a transplant in Ohio, and I was fortunate enough to be there for her aftercare, as well as for my stepfather, who was the donor. After everything with my family had seemed to go back to normal, I still did not know what I wanted to do. My brother and two cousins joined the Army National Guard a few years before, and I saw they were doing well. This is when I decided to take that journey for myself. I enlisted in the Maryland Army National Guard, and I was preparing to leave when my mother became very sick with COVID-19. As a result, she was hospitalized. Little did I know this would be how I got to where I am today. She kept telling the staff that I was shipping out for basic training in a week, and she would be there to see me off. The Sunday before I left, she was taking a turn for the worse, and she kept saying she was leaving the next day to go with me. Everyone thought she was crazy, but they did not understand her determination. Monday morning, she woke up, and it was like she was never sick. She looked at the staff and said, I told you I was leaving on Monday. As we were leaving the hospital, she looked at me and said two things. One, I will never miss something that is so important to you. Second, I found your career path. She had amazing respiratory therapists taking care of her, and she knew in her heart that I would become an amazing one. When I got home from training in March of 2022, I applied to Allegheny, and I was accepted to start that fall. With my mother's spirit and determination, I can stand here and know I exactly where I'm supposed to be. With that being said, 
to our families, friends, and loved ones, our steadfast support system through thick and thin. Thank you. Thank you for believing in us when we doubted ourselves, for cheering us on when the road seemed long, and for standing by our side through every triumph and setback. Your love, encouragement, and unwavering faith in our abilities has been the breath of fresh air that we need to, needed to stay on track and keep moving forward. And for that, we are eternally grateful. So my fellow graduates, as we embark on the next chapter of our lives, whether it be furthering our education, diving headfirst into the workforce, or pursuing our passions in other ways, let us carry with us the lessons we've learned, the friendships we've made, and the values that have guided us this far. As we navigate the uncertainties of the future, never forget the people who have stood by us from the very beginning, the ones who believed in us even before we believed in ourselves. Allow me to leave you with some words of wisdom from Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Class of 2024, take a deep breath, take that first step, and have faith that everything will be all right. Congratulations, we did it, and the best is yet to come. Thank you. Mr. Grand Marshal, do the faculty of Allegheny College of Maryland approve of the following <clears throat> students, acknowledging that they, that they have been extensively examined and are thoroughly recommended for graduation? Dr. Hoffman, as a representative of the faculty and staff of Allegheny College of Maryland, I affirm that the students present this afternoon, as well as those unable to join us but who are listed in the official program for commencement, have been duly enrolled and thoroughly tested and eligible to receive their degree or certificate. Mr. Leonard, all faculty and staff are in agreement with the proclamation of the Grand Marshal. The candidates who are being presented to you at this commencement have been duly enrolled, extensively examined, and are thoroughly recommended by the faculty as having completed the requirements of the associate degree, the certificate, or the letter of recognition as appropriate from Allegheny College of Maryland. The president and I, the senior vice president of instructional and student affairs, therefore certify that the candidates are entitled to receive the same and we take immense pride in presenting them to you. Thank you, Dr. Hoffman. By the authority vested in the board of, of trustees by the state of Maryland, the following students having been duly examined and recommended by the faculty and certified by the president as having met the requirements for graduation are hereby granted the associate degree or certificate as appropriate and are entitled to all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Before formally presenting the graduates in recognition of their academic achievements, we would like to acknowledge students graduating with the following honors. Please stand and be recognized. As students are announced, those graduating from the Allegheny College of Maryland Honors Programs will be noted. Those graduating Phi Theta Kappa, the Honor Society for Community Colleges. Those graduating Psi Beta, Honor Society for Psychology. Alpha Delta Nu, Honor Society for Two-Year Associate's Degree in Nursing. Those graduating Sigma Phi Alpha, Honor Society for Dental Hygiene. Those graduating who are receiving special awards, TRIO Pathways for Success graduates. Those who have served in the military.
Thank you for your service. Those students who are graduating that were Trojan ambassadors, please stand to be recognized. Those graduating cum laude, Those graduating magna cum laude. And those graduating summa cum laude. Summa cum laude is Latin for with highest honors and is based upon a student's grade point average of 3.8 to 4.0. Magna cum laude is with high honors 3.1, 3.51 to 3.79, and cum laude is with honors 3.3 to 3.5. Congratulations that your hard work and diligence has earned you these academic achievements at Allegheny College of Maryland. Graduates this afternoon will be receiving an associate's degree and or certificate. As the instructional programs are announced, graduates, please come forward. Family and friends, please hold your applause until the graduates receive their diploma or certificate for each curriculum area. The following graduates are receiving an associate of applied science degree, associate of arts degree, associate of science degree, or certificate. Those who are receiving an Associate Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Amber Rose Bowser. Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene, Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa. Casey Marie Catterin, Catterton, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Shelby Lynn Coffey, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Lydia Ann Cross, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Rebecca Christian Dottavio, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa, Alpha Sigma Lambda. <laughs> Michelle Marie Hahn, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Caitlin Nicole Hellman, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Jada Alexis Keegan, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Emma Nicole Lemmerman, Associate of Applied Science degree, Dental Hygiene. Shayna Elizabeth Screen, 
Associate of Applied Science Degree, Dental Hygiene, Phi Theta Kappa. Carly Madison Spillman, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Dental Hygiene. Jacqueline Rose Starlipper, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Savannah Jean Turner, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Dental Hygiene, Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa, Sigma Phi Alpha. Sarah Balderas, Balderas, Associate Applied Science Degree, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Those students graduating with an Associate Applied Science Degree Human, so, human Service Associate. Taylor Brooke Alexander, Associate Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Certificate Addictions, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Cassandra Rose Cessna, Associate Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Marie Kramer, Associate of Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa, Alpha Sigma Lambda. Rebecca Lester, Associate of Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Cum Laude. Emily Nicole Mallow, Associate of Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Associate of Science Degree General Studies, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Angel Martin, Associate of Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Summa Cum Laude. Amy Marie Moran, Associate of Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Certificate in Addictions. <laughs> Alyssa. Alyssa Catherine Platt, Associate of Applied Science and Human Service Associate, Certificate in Addictions, Summa Cum Laude. Erica Lynn Reed, Associate of Applied Science, Human Service Associate, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Qu 
Corey Ann Sarfino, Associate Applied Science, Human Service Associate, cum laude. Those graduating with an Associate of Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy. Angela Agugla, Associate of Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy. <laughs> Sherry Ray Beaver, Associate of Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy. Megan Bittinger, Associate Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa, Alpha Sigma Lambda. <laughs> Jeanette Marie Bland, Associate of Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy. Tiffany Marie Rounds, Associate Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy, Honors. <laughs> Jessica Shiver, Associate Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy. Jim Slider, Associate Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy. <laughs> Melinda Elizabeth Twist Rice, Associate Applied Science degree, Massage Therapy, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa, Alpha Sigma Lambda. Those graduating with an Associate of Applied Science degree, Medical Administrative Assistant. Those graduating with an Associate of Applied Science degree, Medical Assistant. Anna Lisa Marie Deal, Associate Applied Science, Medical Assistant. <laughs> Deborah Lurie Dixon, Associate Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Associate Applied Science degree in Applied Technical Studies.
Lexi Marie Friend, Associate Applied Science Degree, Medical Assistant, Certificate in Medical Administration, Assistant, Medical Coding and Billing, Associate Applied Science Degree in Applied Technical Studies, cum laude. Olivia Marie Weimer, Associate Applied Science Medical Assistant, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Certificate in General Studies. Those graduating with an Associate of Applied Science degree, Medical Laboratory Technology. Jeanette Mantelava Canarium, Associate Applied Science Degree in Medical Laboratory Technology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Miranda Dawn Paul, Associate Applied Science Degree, Medical Laboratory Technology, Cum Laude. Emily Rose Valentine, Associate Applied Science Degree in Medical Laboratory Technology, Cum Laude. Those graduating with an Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist. Zhao Luke Zin Tay, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Jordan Lee Landis, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa. Cornelius Tarplay Che, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Alexa Eleanor Cook, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist. <laughs> Kiana Alexis McCullough, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist.
Xavier James Michaels, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist, Summa Cum Laude. Kirsten Jade Moser, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist. <laughs> Leah Marie Pearson, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist, Summa Cum Laude. Paige Madison Plummer, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Kylie Alexis Stickley, Respiratory Therapist. Taylor Madison Stock, Associate of Applied Science Degree, Respiratory Therapist. Those graduating with an Associate of Science degree, nursing. We have a few nurses graduating today. Michaela P. Compton, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> September Crump, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Kateria Cruz Ferrer, Associate of Science Degree in Nursing, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa. Tristan Michael Armstrong, Associate of Science Degree in Nursing.
Dana Lynn Bema Sturper, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Danielle M. Benjamin, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Paula Bowie, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Beth A. Brady Smith, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Shelby Deneen Johnson, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> Jenna Aaron Branham Landon, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Jamie Lynn Lesanowski, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> Sophia Page Edwards, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Sheila Alicia Faltz, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Lauren Nicole Freet, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Kate Frushauer, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Emanuela Princess Godswill, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Jason Busey, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Mindy Marie Burris, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Leela Clark, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> Melissa Dawn Price, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Angela Teresa Rissinger, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Rashawn Nicole Salas, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing.
Anastasia Limbrick, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Karina Esther Lyons, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> Emily Grace Nave, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Sierra Nicole Norwood, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Jordan Brianna Green, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Diamond Gregory, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> Camilla Johnson, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Christina Lynn Johnson, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. McKenna Elizabeth Shea, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Sarah Nicole Smith, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing, Cum Laude. Amy Marie Stone Road, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Alexis Nicole Streets, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. <laughs> Gloria Opoku, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Emma Oslau Nindo, Associate of Science Degree, Nursing. Those following graduates, graduating with a certificate.
Nicholas Eric Rosario, Certificate in Nursing Assistant, Geriatric Aid, magna cum laude. Sierra Alexis Bothwell, Certificate in Addictions, Associate of Science Degree, General Studies. <laughs> Melissa Renee Blueball, Certificate in Medical Administration Assistant, Medical Coding and Billing. Lindsay Marie Drake, Certificate in Nursing Assistant, Geriatric Aid. <laughs> Destiny Ann Hager, Certificate in Nursing Assistant, Geriatric Aid, Summa Cum Laude. Jenny Deba Howder, Certificate in Nursing Assistant, Geriatric Aid, Summa Cum Laude. Grace Margaret Burke, Certificate in Pharmacy Technician, Cum Laude. Robert W. Gomer, Certificate in Pharma Pharmacy Technician, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors, Alpha Sigma Lambda. Stephen Goss, Certificate in Pharmacy Technician, Cum Laude. Soshi A. Miller, Certificate in Pharmacy Technician, Summa Cum Laude. Sylvie Blue Carter, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant. <laughs> Breton Lynn Steele, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Cum Laude. Brittany Jeanette Roby, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant. <laughs> Mallory Claire Marvin, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant. Aaliyah Natarcia Logston, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Victoria Liller, 
Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Cum Laude. Tasha Nicole Lamb, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Christina Renee Gordon, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant. Adriana Marie Farrell, Certificate in Phlebotomy, Laboratory Assistant, Magna Cum Laude, Honors. Graduates, please stand. As a long celebrated academic tradition, a student who has not yet received their degree wears the tassel on the right side of their mortarboard to signify your academic accomplishments and to symbolize your successful transition from candidate to Allegheny College of Maryland graduate you may now move your tassel from right to left. You can sit down. Guests in attendance, thank you for helping me to proudly congratulate and formally recognize your graduate from the spring 2024 class from Allegheny College of Maryland. Let today serve as a beginning, not an ending. From this day forward, no matter where your path takes you, you will forever be an Allegheny College of Maryland Trojan. This concludes Allegheny College of Maryland's spring 2024 commencement ceremony. We ask that our guests in the audience please remain seated during the recessional as the stage party, the faculty, and your graduate will exit the building. Please join us in the College Center for refreshments and an opportunity to take photos at a reception honoring our graduates. This has definitely been another unprecedented year. Please continue to be safe Please be kind and please take care of one another. Thank you and safe travels. <laughs>